it should come as a surprise to no one that when I found out I was pregnant, one of the things I was most excited for was designing a nursery. Honestly, I have been dreaming of this day for far too long and I had the perfect room in my house that I've just left to be my hoarder room with dead plants, with my dad's traveling stuff, with a random door. Like this room is an absolute disaster and I was so dang ready to get to work. I'm so excited for this. Can you guys read that? One problem is, is they did just like put it in my mailbox like that. So these are all bent. I feel like this is cool, but it kind of feels like a basket at the same time. So like, I don't really know. This one. Oh, this is another basket, but in a different color. I feel like it's cool. However, I don't know if it would be too much. Like the whole entire room. Oh my gosh, this is way darker than I was expecting. Oh, okay, we can't do this. This is so dark. I like the pattern though. It's just incredibly, incredibly dark. This is my least favorite. Oh, Dretz, there's none of these that I'm like, wow, I love. So sadly, I had to go back to the drawing board. I ended up ordering five more samples, narrowed it down to these three, and then ultimately decided on my favorite one. Actual fuck. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> this like adhesive on this paper just is not as sticky. Like I could tell putting it up. I was like, it's just not as sticky as the other wallpaper that I've done. I'm not gonna stress about this right now because it's my fucking birthday. And my dog just threw up. <laughs> oh my god. Where are you at? I heard that. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Not my car back. It's far later in the day. I've had a lot of time to think about it. And ultimately I decided to scrap the wallpaper in here. Which does stink. Um, but I looked back at my Pinterest board and I was like, Catherine. Nowhere on your Pinterest board is any wallpaper in a nursery. So why are you trying to make wallpaper happen? Stop trying to make wallpaper happen. So I went to Lowe's, usually I'm a Sherman, Sherman Williams girl, but Lowe's does have Sherman Williams there. I actually didn't know, like the Greek villa that's all over my freaking house. I didn't know I could get that at Lowe's. I've been going to Sherman Williams and I'm pretty sure I've been paying more over there, but it's fine. So I got four different samples of paint that I want to try. They're all a little bit different. Two are kind of similar, but they are different. One is incredibly bold. I'm just going to go with luck of the draw. What one do we have first? Okay. My battery died painting option two and I didn't realize it. So this is a darker vibe, still on the same color tone. So the next two should get interesting. Kind of like that I'm doing this, just luck of the draw. It's like, what is this one? I don't know. Oh, that was my fear with this one. It's a little too pink. I wasn't sure if this was going to be like a cool, um, I don't even know the right word for it, but this is way too pink. My fear with this one is it's gonna be too dark, but 
guys know I'm just obsessed with green in this house. I don't know if this green is vibey, but is it gonna be too dark? Because the crib is dark too. The only thing that's really light in here is going to be that dresser. I'm almost pulling towards this one, but we'll see how it dries. I also wanna put these over here. So I've got one set up over here, one over here, because I only have this one window light and I currently have this light set to just like daylight setting. So it's kind of pulling more accurate tones for you guys here. But I wanna see tomorrow what these look like. Obviously like as they're drying, like this looks kind of weird. So what is this really going to look like? This doesn't seem as pinky to me as it initially did. I think this one is going to be far too dark, which bums me out because I kind of like it. The ceiling is staying white, the trim is staying white, so like that will offset it a little bit, but like not enough. We'll see. Where I'm kind of at right now though, these two, I'm afraid this is gonna be too pink, but we'll see tomorrow as well as like when it dries. I think I might go more so that one. Here's the deal. I came in here at about like 10 o'clock last night, took a look at the paint at night with the light on, what does it look like? I painted more swatches. So one of the things I did is this corner right here. Oh my gosh, that bottom color pulls up so pink. I wanted to see like compared to the trim, painting a bigger area, like what does it actually look like? And I still don't know what one I want to go with. There are moments where I'm like, go dark green, go bold, do it. And then there's other moments where I'm like, you're crazy, don't do that. You guys just know me, like I don't commit to bold paint colors. My last house, the whole entire house was white. And then I added accents in other ways. And even right now, the whole house is white. And then I added that bold wallpaper. And I wanted this to be another like bold, cool statement room. But is that dark green too bold? I'm also at the point where if I don't eat right now, I'm going to vomit. So I'm just munching on Cheerios to calm my stomach. Hi. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, thank you. You're really just here because you want a Cheerio. I know you. Good. Thank you. I love you. What do you think, pink color wise? Yes, I know you just want Cheerio. Are you guys ready to see where this nursery is at? I'm gonna warn you it's a little bit of chaos right now, but <laughs> the paint is done. Oh my gosh, it looks so dark in here. So I actually just did a few touch up spots. So I gotta let that dry, but it, oh my gosh. And I decided very last minute, I was like, mm, this is a little too harsh. So I painted over it and I'm gonna need to do one more coat on that. The outlets, I'm just gonna leave white. I think that's fine, but like this was just, it was like so stark. It was like glaring at me. I really, really hated it. So I do need to take the tape still down. Like this spot over here is wet, up there is wet, all of this is wet. So like I can't take this down yet, but I just, Oh man, I really need to figure out the layout of this room, what I want to happen here. So let me just like kind of walk you guys through my thoughts. Since this house is only three bedrooms right now, technically it's four bedrooms because downstairs that like one room is considered a bedroom, but like really it's only three bedrooms right now. I want this room to function as a guest room as well as a nursery. The other room is going to function just as a spare bedroom. So like when there's only one guest here or a couple here, they can stay in the other room and then this will continue to remain the nursery. But I need this to be a dual function room. So my original thought was I just need a crib, a dresser, and a day bed situation. The rocking chair, okay, is gonna actually exist in my bedroom. Where the mirror is right now, that's where the rocking chair is going to go. So, day bed, crib, Dresser. This dresser I'm just gonna keep because it's free. I have it right now. The crib, we already got. The bed. So I figured temporarily let me just like keep this bed 
and then I will figure out a day bed situation in the future and now I'm trying to think through like okay can I actually just keep this bed or like what can I do to make this make the most sense because even with a day bed I want it to like be able to like turn into a queen all of this I've like really really thought this through so my original thought is when you first walk in the room I want you to see the crib right in front of me this green is just like everything to me I want you to see the crib right in front of you the dresser off to the right and then bed over to the left like I didn't want you to walk right in and just see a bed well now that I have this bed here there can't be a nightstand or something beside this bed for guests to put anything on there's really no spot for a light beside the bed and I am very passionate about that like if you're staying at someone else's house and you don't know the flow of the room you want a light beside the bed like you don't want to have to turn the light off at the door walk over mind you like mine is remote operated but like still putting this here there's no room for that so I measured it out and if I actually put the bed in this corner there is plenty of room so what I'm debating is do I want to bring the bed over here and have this consume like when you walk in you're just going to see a bed then the dresser's against this wall and then the crib's against that wall. It's not my favorite thought and then I'm like Kevin if you're going to get a day bed in the future like you would want the day bed to be here but what I really think I need to do is clear out this freaking mess that I have right now. Move the dresser into the spot over here and be like okay do I like this if not flip the positioning and then build the crib because I don't want to build the crib and then have three pieces of furniture to move I'd rather only have two pieces of furniture to move so let's get cleaning I am so obsessed with this screen like this seriously makes me want to paint other rooms in my house I'm like this is goals That's gonna make opening these a pain. Hypothetically, before I like move the bed as well or make this into a whole production, if I move the dresser over here, would I like that? That would be crazy because honestly that's where the dresser started. What if I okay, like shift that more to the left? I'm almost thinking, which this might be crazy. Yeah. Because quite frankly, like what else are you gonna put in this corner? That might actually work. I kind of like that and then have the crib here. I think I might even shift this dresser over a little bit more. Okay, I'm starting to life this. I recently found out that apparently returns with Amazon, a lot of them just end up in a landfill. And when I tell you the devastation in my heart of like, oh my gosh, how much have I just been contributing to a landfill? Because like even with the rugs in my office, you guys saw like I bought three different rugs and I returned some and I'm like, did those rugs seriously end up in a landfill or were those rugs able to be resold? Because that is just so incredibly wasteful. So instead of turning to Amazon to look at curtain options, I decided let me go to Target and let's hope that Target can actually resell their returns because I just had no idea what I wanted in terms of curtain colors. When I tell you, like, I've just been sitting in that nursery, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I, I'm so lost. I don't wanna use the normal black curtains that I've been putting everywhere else. Like, 
It's been devastating. So I ended up buying a lot of different curtain options and obviously I will return some. And then I got this lamp, which honestly I have seen like from the second it came out and it was put in the Studio Miggy section, I almost said Magnolia. I have loved it, but I had no purpose for it. So I was like, I don't need to get it. And I specifically was thinking of this lamp or there's one black one that I know Target has and I found it online, but it said it was available in that store and it wasn't and I can't get it shipped to my house. Like it has to be in stores to get it. So I am hoping that I really, really like this lamp, but let's go into the bedroom and just kind of think this through. I put these two pieces of artwork here because I wasn't sure if this is like kind of what I wanted to go for above the dresser. Honestly, the picture on the right, I have always thought was shaped like a pacifier. And I'm telling you, like once you see it, you can't unsee it. So I am pretty sure these two are gonna be hung on the wall right there. And then I wanted a lamp for over on the side. I like the offset of greens, like, I, I'm just afraid it's gonna be far too small when these are hung up. And maybe I just need like curtains in here to kind of figure out what I wanna do. So let's take a look at some curtains. I have four different options. I honestly just wasn't sure what kind of vibe I wanted to go with. So starting out, so this is option one. Nothing too, too crazy. Option two is a similar, like it's a cream vibe, but the texture in it is very different. The feel is very different. This just feels so cozy and like a nursery to me for some reason. So the other two are actually the exact same material. This one I thought could be really fun. It's almost like a dark, dusty pink, but I think it could be really, really cool with these green walls. And then the last one I got is gray because this comforter that you see right here has gray in it. So I was like, oh, maybe I pull the gray tones. And this is again, the exact same material. So obviously this is not where the curtains are going, but I just need to see in terms of color with like the comforter and with the walls. That gray is kind of nice. I almost don't know if this is too warm toned. Let me actually just set them all on the bed here and see. This one's just different. Oh man, this is so hard. Okay, I don't think I like this one. Honestly, where my heart is really, really pulling is the one that's like a dusty pink. Like I, I think that's so cool in here. My fear with the cream is it's gonna pull up too yellow. Like especially on camera, it looks too yellow compared to the comforter, but then also like the dresser is right here. So I'm afraid that one is gonna be a no. So I'm down to my gray and the dusty. I think I go dusty, honestly. Wow, I am obsessed. And the funny thing is like when I started to find like the creams and the gray and everything, I, like I was like, oh, don't get these, they're too feminine. No, they're perfect. Honestly, I'm so obsessed with these. Like I kind of just want to trade out all the curtains in my house. I'm like, these are gorgeous. Wow, 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 wow. I also had the clips that I'm using. So these clips right here, funny enough, are from my last house. The old curtains that were hung in my living room before I swapped them all out were hung on these and I kept them for honestly no good reason. Like I didn't think I would reuse them, but I've been seeing curtains on Instagram with rings and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so nice. Plus with the height of my ceilings, like you guys know on like my bedrooms and stuff, I feel like my curtains just look silly because I couldn't hang them up high enough and they're like too far off the ground. Like these are the perfect distance off the ground. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. I'm so happy with how this room is coming together.
you guys. Welcome to my nursery. <laughs> without vlogging. So the very first one is the curtains. I know, I love the other curtains so freaking much, but as I was actually remaking over my master bedroom, those curtains worked so perfectly in there and I didn't wanna have matching curtains in these two rooms. So I decided to go with a little bit of a darker vibe. These are velvet black, so they almost pull up a little bit more charcoal. Like they're not like a pure, pure black, but I love them. They're the exact same brand style as the other curtains I had in here, just in the darker color. This is a very basic IKEA dresser, okay? There was no need for me to buy a new one. This one works perfectly in this space. It's basic. It's white. The one thing I wanted to do to give it a little bit of an upgrade, though, was change out these knobs. So I found these on Amazon, and it was the easiest cheap upgrade to a dresser. I feel like it gives this a little bit more of a nicer feel compared to the plain knobs that came with it before. And then on top, I wanted this to be semi-functional. So I'll probably have like more things up top here, like wipes and other things like easily on hand that I need. And then these drawers are going to be filled with all the good stuff as well. But I wanted a changing station. So I have always loved the look of these baskets. I just wasn't sure how practical it was in reality because I was like, is this like going to be soft enough for a baby's skin? Like, it doesn't seem like it to me, but when doing my research and trying to find one of these, I saw that some other people just cover it when their baby is in there and then they take off the covering. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It does come with a nice like cushion mat and then this linen piece to go over top, but for changing specifically, like this is... To me, it feels soft enough, like softer than I was expecting, but just to protect that baby fresh skin, you know, I will be putting something over it. I added this book section right here. So since I'm not sure whether I'm keeping this bed here, if I'm gonna get a day bed, whatever, I didn't wanna do any artwork above the bed or like really on this blank wall over here because this may change in the future. So I wanted to have a little bit of a functional section right here for my little one so the books go the whole way to the floor so he can easily grab these sadly these are not too big so they don't actually fit a lot of books like max they can fit is two unless i have really really thin books here but still cute i can swap them out over time and yeah honestly i feel like this is like the most practical thing in this room in terms of like his entertainment you know i don't have any other like toys or even like room for toys in here but there's plenty Plenty of room in the rest of the house. By far, my favorite addition to the whole entire space are these clouds right here. So this was very much so a last minute decision. I had no idea what I wanted to do above the crib. I was thinking like a traditional mobile situation, mobile, you guys know what I'm talking about. I was thinking about doing something like that, but I was actually on Instagram and I saw someone share their nursery reveal and they had these hot air balloons hanging and I was like, that is such a cool idea. Hot air balloons wouldn't have worked in here, but clouds immediately clicked in my mind. So I ran to Pinterest to see if someone else had a tutorial and I made these. So I actually created a reel. It's going to be on Instagram, how I made these. And I am so obsessed. Like it is the perfect, perfect thing to go above the crib. And that is it for my nursery, you guys. This space is done. I'm so obsessed with it. It turned out so incredibly beautiful. I feel like it looks, not. I feel like I know it looks absolutely nothing like the vision board that I have, like the Pinterest images that I saved, but it honestly turned out so much better. Like this is such a cozy, inviting space and I am so excited to see him in here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna include links to everything I can link in the description right down below in case you are interested in any of this stuff. Thank you.